Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com and BigBlockBooks.com. So I recently received a question on how I created some of the images for our free little course on creating an interactive children's ebook or children's interactive ebook. And in particular, there is uh, the cat and the fiddle, and we did a little drag and drop exercise. So the question was, how did I create uh, the little drag and drop section where the cat was going to be brought into? So to answer this, the program I use almost for um, any image manipulation, I use Photoshop. Now, you can probably do some of the same things in other programs like GIMP or something like that. But I want to show you step by step a couple of little tricks I did for the cat, as well as I'll give you a sneak preview on something that's in our master class that uh, we're, we're about to release. I'll show you how we set up the images for the match game. So this is an illustration and almost any illustration that I use is actually done by uh, my good friend and biz partner, Mr. Christopher Cartledge. So he drew out this character and I pretty much had it exported as a PNG. Now, a PNG file means that the background is transparent, and that's what these little checker boxes mean. So here I have, it's a cat drag.png. This is in Photoshop. And what I can do, I'm going to hold down my command key, control on PC, come over here to my layers. And if I click right on this icon, it selects this image. Okay. I'm going to make a new layer. And for this layer, I want to fill it with a color. So let's say if I press the letter D, um, it's going to give me the default color of black. If I press the letter X, it'll swap that around and give me the foreground color of white. So I'm going to fill this next layer with white. So I'll do option delete. That's all backspace on PC. So now at this point, uh, this is just a new layer filled in with white. Okay. The next thing I can do is I'm going to double click on this layer and it's going to open up layer styles. So I can bring in an inner shadow. So if you look right there, that's a nice little piece and I'm going to adjust that a little bit. Just to over exaggerate it a little. Now I did uh, now in, in fairness, I actually did create this years ago, so I'm not remembering exactly all of my steps, but I do have an inner shadow here. Ah, there we are. Let's give it a little more distance. And choke that up a bit. Okay, looks good. So if I click OK. And from this part, or from this point on, I can go on and maybe even save this out. I could even give it, I think, a, I think there's like an outline somewhere or a stroke. All right, so if that stroke is there, and we can make that opacity very, very light. Okay, so I'm gonna hide those little, or deselect that. So that is a little cutout section. And what I would do, one, I'm gonna turn off the other background for a second. I can save this part out. So I'll go File, Export, Explore or save for web legacy. And I can save that out as a PNG. All right. And then I would also make sure I save out the cat as a PNG. And that's just one way of actually doing that. Another way, if I wanted to push this a little bit further, I could come over here and maybe drop the opacity of this little layer. So it kind of looks great out. So you kind of know where you should be dropping it in. Okay. So another thing I want to show you is 
This is from the master class. Again, we, we used a lot of the uh, little nursery rhyme characters. So I have a document and I set up my document. I think it's about, let's see at the image size here, 225 by 225, 72 pixels per inch. So I have a background texture here. And here's the new cat um, in the fiddle for the, um, the style we did for, and again, these are also the micros cartilage. So I can actually export out this one. So I would just simply do export, save for web. And then I'd go find another one. And of course I'd save these out as one would be uh, match underscore Jack, match underscore Humpty. And there's Jill, there's Little Bo Peep. So all the different characters will be saved out. I think we saved out eight different characters for this. And we also needed the back of the matching game. So there's the Big Block Books logo. And we also added in a shadow. And I even threw in a little button just so people will know where to click. And so hopefully that answers a few questions about how I set up images. And last but not least, I wanted to uh, mention our masterclass. After three years in the making, it has finally seen the light of day. You can actually get access to that for an early pricing. And you can go to tonyteach.com slash P-U-B. MSTR for Pub Master, Pub Coder Master. And the course right now, it's actually hidden. That's so that's the only way you can actually find it. But we have about 80% of the videos there and we're still uploading. We're looking to be finished by the end of April 2020. But you can still go in and start uh, playing around with the files and going through the lessons. Let us know what you think. You can also get this for a discount. You can get it for about $70 off of what the actual price is. So go ahead and check that out. Again, that's tonyteach.com slash pubmaster or P-U-B-M-S-T-R. So this has been Tony Ross for tonyteach.com and bigblockbooks.com. Remember, make art, not excuses. So go make something. Have a good one.